Hey, so I wanted to do a video today on what I think is the most complicated, one of the most complicated blocks in the Helix, and it's actually this flanger, the Dynamics flanger. Now I think this is actually based on the Mic Mix Dyna flanger, or something very close to this idea. Now this was supposedly Frank Zappa's uh, go-to flanger. That's about all I can find on it, to be honest with you. I'm going to just put it in behind an amp, actually. Uh, so we put an amp here. Just try amp and cab. Something relatively unfussy. And, you know, straight out of the box it sounds like this. And what I think you can hear there is that it's listening to the input and and is obviously modulating so i found a manual for this so i wanted to talk about some bit speed right so what i wanted to try and do this is by default set to two We've got control select. You can have an LFO. And that. With some slower sounds. is I think pretty pleasant. Um, the other thing we can do is select manual control in which case You could flange that if you control that with like an expression pedal. Very interesting. Let's go back to envelope, I guess, and see what we can do with that. So. Um, you know, it's got some of the weirdest CV normal, I think what you're finding is that the envelope is going the opposite direction. We've got CV Decay. And that to me is sounding more like a tape speeding up. So that's quite a wacky, interesting sound. So what have we got going on there? We got, I don't think speed will make an impact. Maybe it does, what was that, 
Okay, so we've got manual set to zero, that, that's not being involved at the moment. Phasing at minus 10, CV dynamics at 10, max delay at 83, recycle the in if we get rid of that. That's wonderful, right? <laughs> Okay, so I thought maybe there'd be a reason to try and check this out. Um, and I think I just found it. So. So what this is then doing is it's kind of letting the tape catch up. guess if I wanted that to be faster I would change the envelope lag so at the moment that's up full so or maybe not decay yeah like that kind of changes the speed But that in itself, I think, is pretty lovely. Right, so that's settings for that really cool little kind of tape sound. Wonderful. Okay, then what I might do is kind of so speed 6.8 envelope uh, depth 6.7 manual at 0 mix in phasing minus 10 recycle is out CV dynamics at 10 if we take that down what do we get And the most pronounced. Okay, max delay at 83. CV track at normal, not invert. Invert would do the opposite. Fall back down to the pitch. And envelope lag is at 100 milliseconds. Envelope in is at plus 70 dB. And CV decay is at minus 4. Now, on this second snapshot, what I'm going to try and do is something a bit different, I think. So, snapshot. Three, we want to be envelope. I want this one to be manual, and I think I like the sound of slower flanger sounds. I'm going to take this depth down. And for this, I think maybe I want to recycle in. And this one will be out, so in. And the other thing I want to do, I think, is use a shorter CV decay. So we want it four for that snapshot, and then maybe two. Yeah, so if we use this max delay, that is kind of controlling our intensity a bit. I had that at 83, that was a bit extreme. If we bring that down, down to something like 10 milliseconds, we get a bit more reasonable. I mean, 
that is clearly an insanely powerful effect and I had no idea you could do this. Wild. Okay, let me know if you want me to drop this into the folder and also let me know if you, you found that at all helpful in terms of demystifying the dynamics flanger. LFO means that you've got more of a traditional flanger and then what have we got? The envelope means that it's listening to your envelope as you're playing so that controls your, your kind of dynamics control the flange effect and then manual is you could control that with a pedal um, and then these other elements here, like max delay is kind of, you could think about that as intensity. CV dynamics is talking about how much your envelope is uh, influencing it. And CV track sends it in either up or down in pitch in terms of what's happening with the flange. So it would, in invert, it would come down instead of coming up and lag and these things is uh, CV decay this is also important it kind of controls the length of that flanger thing so a pretty wild effect to be honest um, worth experimenting with though I think and again let me know if you want me to drop this into the folder cheers <laughs>